So I wanted to show you guys and make this video so you guys could get a better career in that pay. The chi chi could go all the way up. But so now before we get started, I'm gonna show you guys what tools you actually need as a low voltage electrician. You guys know like check this out. The tweaker, the snips, the puncher, the, the flush cutter, sharpie, and the jack, the velcro, and the electrical tape. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kid Jeff J signing in. I highly appreciate every single one of you guys returning back to my channel. With that said, you guys are beautiful and amazing. All right, you guys, today I just want to say thank you for supporting the last videos. Today I'm actually making a little type of different video. As you guys see, I am dressed like if I'm going to work or so. But um, today, since they have laid me off due to the quarantine virus, I am going to show you guys how to terminate jacks and how to actually work as a low voltage technician slash electrician. So with that, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. For you guys that want to switch your guys' job that you guys don't like it and you guys trying to find a career. Um, at the moment, so right here, good place to learn on how to mount jack. I have three different type of jacks. So with that, I have the Leventon commercial jack right here. That, that one is the one I actually love working with. It's like a transformer, and plus you don't need a punch tool for that one. And then I have, then I have the Comscope jack, which you need a punch tool for that. I'll show you guys the tools you actually will need as a uh, low voltage. So I have uh, another one, Comscope jack as well. So there are two different ones. Other low voltage dispatches that I've had um, remodeling, we have been getting rid of this cable Cat5, Cat5e and Cat5 and these jacks right here. So this right here is Cat5 cable and these are some old jacks. You guys see the color coding? I'll be showing you guys how to color code and how to do everything. But this is a Cat5 cable, which um, this cable, this is what we do to this cable when we see it. Yo, I just wanted to show you guys, bring some so I can show you guys the difference between Cat5, which we don't use these, and these jacks, these data jacks as well. The color coding is right there. I have the yellow one as well. Color code is in the side as well. We don't use these anymore, so pretty sure for when you jump into this career, you guys will know what I mean by Cat5, Cat5e. We don't use this cable or these jacks anymore. So goodbye to that. So working as a low voltage, you will be working with Cat6 and Cat6a and Cat7. So now let's get to the video actually. I just want to show you guys what don't we use anymore. So now that we're remodeling, we have that Cat6 cable, which is this small one right here. Look how thick it is. See how thick it is? It has the color coding in the inside. And then obviously we have that Cat6 A cable, which is thicker. This is thicker, this one's thicker as you guys can see, and this one's not that thick. So this is Cat6 A, this is Cat6. So that's the cable we actually run on top of the ceilings, and we pull as we're pulling cable. And um, this is just more, and then I have some Cat7, the super fastest one, I only have a little piece because this was really expensive, but this is as thicker. So I'm gonna show you guys how to terminate the jacks, which in a low voltage um, field, that's what your really main concern of an employee will want to hire you if you know how to mount jacks. So with that, don't worry, I got you, stay tuned. With that, like, check this out. So we need this cable. This cable here is expensive. Even this little piece of cable here, obviously we have big boxes that we work with, but um, I have managed to take these because this is scrap. So I wanted to show you guys and make this video so you guys could get a better career in that way. The chi chi could go all the way up. But so now before we get started, I'm gonna show you guys what tools you actually need as a low voltage electrician. You guys know that check this out. This is my tool belt. Right here, this is my tool belt I actually carry all the time. This is what feeds me and my family, you know. So with that, obviously, you need your snips. Yay, that's right, look like glasses. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the one and only, the punch. Yep, this right here is the punch tool. Look at the end, it's a punch tool 110. You guys can see that? It has a little baby blade in there. You need the flush cutters. 
which these are nail clippers, but they actually do the job. The flush cutters, they're so similar. Oh, Sharpie, yup. In the low voltage field, let me tell you, you need a Sharpie. That's what's gonna get you paid as well. And a tweaker. Not one of those tweakers that you see in the street. A tweaker. Okay, so you need a tweaker as well. It's main, main tools as a low voltage electrician. So look, check this. It's right there. That's what you guys need right there. So everything is put away already, so let's get down to business. I'm going to teach you how to punch press today on these two type of jacks that I have here with the Cat6 cable. We're going to open this Comscope jack right here. Alright, so you guys can see the color coding. Different color coding. Okay, so now we're going to get the Cat6A cable. Look how thin it is. You guys got to be really gentle. The, the cable with the snips. Pull the cable, put the cable to the side. There you go. In some cases, the cables are gonna be looking like different colors, but in reality, there's not. So you just grab your jack, so you put some small little piece of cable inside like that. And then you just pinch the jack and the cable where you get the wiring and then we have purple and then I know it doesn't have it looks purple but it's actually blue so you look for the blue color coding you go with B you don't go with A anymore A side they only use for they only use it for uh, federals and um, banks so from any other construction site you get there they're gonna ask you for a B side so and then it has a letter A on top and the letter B. I know you guys can't really see it. You guys can see a little bit. You guys see A barely is blurry. So you guys don't go with A. You guys go with the bottom color coding, which is the same. So that's good. So now you just uh, start color coding your cables by twisting them a couple of twists. So you put dark blue with dark blue inside like that. How you guys see it's dark blue to the left and white to the right. This is blue and white and this is dark blue. So there are two different ones. So you guys gotta be really, really careful with the eyesight. And then you go on to the next one and you do the same. But now it's brown. So there you go. So it goes brown and white brown. So now you guys go to the orange one. Give it a couple of twists. Couple of twists. There you go. Now solid orange and white orange you guys got to make sure you guys read the color from the side okay then you go and you untangle a little bit from the green one now you want to the green one it is white green and green there you go we're almost there now that you have the coloring in place you double check it make sure your work is right you bring out your punch tool you gotta be really careful because they have a small, small blade. You see the little white thing right there, shiny? That's a small, small, tiny blade. Is you place that little blade from the outside of the jack. You don't want it in the opposite side because you'll cut the cake. You put it on the floor. You hear the punch, it's ready to go. There you go. Then you do the opposite since it's on the other side. You pull the blade, the little blade, in the other side. There you go, now you grab the cables, you twist them off, and voila. There goes one mount, punched in, color coding, perfect. There you go. Jack officially done and ready to go. 
That's the first one. All right, so now that we finished one with Cat 6 cable and the first mount jack, I'm gonna show you guys another one. Let's open it. This is awful with Cat 6 cable. The color coding is in the inside. So remember, you gotta watch out when every jack is different. Have the different color coding and the outside is always the same colors though. So with that, it's the inside, not in the outside. And first, you put on the little cap. Inside the cable, run it like this. Because if you put this first, then how are you going to close it from the back? So it will be making no sense. So now that we have it inside, we just let it loose. We bring the snips. Once again, we cut. These little extra stuff you guys don't need until you get the wiring by themselves. They're, they're just separating. So now you grab them by themselves. You grab the jack. Really can't tell, but a side is to the left and B side is to the right. So we're gonna go with B side. Remember, always go with B side. With this jack, you gotta make sure you leave, you leave it like on the center like this. Why? Because this is in the center, the little cap, and you're gonna wanna cap it and have it like straight. Cause if you do it like from the side, Actually, like I did the other one, it won't work. So you see, you gotta, you guys gotta pay attention, okay? So now you just look for the colors. But don't worry, just be patient with it. We have all the colors in place. So now I'm just gonna punch it, tighten them up. Remember the blade? The little shiny parts of blade to the outside. And you just punch it down. There you go. Then you do it to the other side. Now you flip it. Flip the little blade. There you go. Twist them off. Bring it to the center, you guys see? Second mount jack, it's done. Grab the little cap, and you push it in place. There you go. Second jack, officially finished. So this is the first jack that we did. This is the second jack, different, as you guys can see. The color coding is the same, you go with B side. Remember, you don't use A side. 20 years ago, they used to use A side. Now we don't use A side, now we just all use B side. As you guys can see, two of these mount jacks. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna teach you guys on the Cat 6A cable. This is Cat 6A cable, remember? Cat 6 is smaller, and this one's thicker. Even the color coding, so be careful with the snips. This is the one that I'm actually working with right now. Well, this one comes with aluminum foil, protecting the cables. Be really, really gentle. You unfoil it. There you go. And then you remove this other plastic. This one's way faster. This is connecting some cameras. Bring down. Then we have this one right here. This yellow plastic inside, dividing the cables so they won't get ruined. You cut that off. This little mount. This is the color coding. This one's so cool. The color coding is in the outside, as you guys can see. And um, you go with B side. A side is in the bottom, and B side is at the top. As you guys clip on the little mount, you start sending the color coding to the side, which this one's brown and white, this one's blue, this one's orange, and this one's just green. So now you guys just press on it, give it a loop, twist it off, There you go, once in already, as you guys can see, it's blue and white, the orange one's next. Orange and white. Sorry if you guys hear music in the background, that is not, that is not me, the music in the background is um, my neighbors. Now, this is orange, white. 
And last but not least is the green one. Give it some loops. Look at the color code and voila. Just like that. This looks so cool. This one is so cool, huh? So this is the Cat 6 AK one I'm working with. It's pretty cool, it's satisfying. It's like playing a little video game sometimes. So now the reason you need some flush cutters is because if you cut them with the snips, they'll be sticking out and you don't want no um, wiring sticking out because then the mount won't, the jack won't close. So the jack won't close, so you need your flush cutters, which I'm using no clippers. This does a perfect job. On saving some money with these nail clippers. So you guys see the mount? The color code, B side on the top, orange white, white blue, brown white, and green white. Now you grab your transformer. So the reason you don't need a punch tool here is because it's gonna punch them on its own. It has a little blades in the inside. You just make sure you guys found it right. The little hole is here and the little insider goes here, the little connector. So you grab it, push it, push it down, just like magic. Cool. This is the Cat6 wiring. And this is Cat 6A right here. So they're all different, same color coding. Um, cables from the Cat 6A might be looking different. Depends what kind of color coding you have, but it's gonna be always the same go with B. So now I'm gonna show you guys why do you guys need a Sharpie. The fact is the reason how you um, label cable is not just writing like crazy. So what you do is, say for example, it's going to the IDF um, number 34. You write down A, P, 30, 0, 34. That, that's how you label. That's how mostly everybody's gonna label. Just teaching you how to label. And it's really, really important to know how to label as well. You don't do this through the side, you do it through the bottom. Three numbers all the time, two lines at the bottom. So that's why this is so important because every cable is going to an IDF, MDF room. So with that, it's like, really really important to know where that cable is going if you mess up and you don't label that ooh, you got to go and identify and it is a mission for you guys that are low voltage you guys know what I'm talking about because it have happened not to me but to somebody else and I had to identify the cable so now let me teach you guys how to coil something I've learned in the field was don't coil it like this no nope, that's a bad coil what you want to do because the wiring will be twisted from the inside and when they're testing it with the flute tester they're not gonna be getting signal with it. So with that, you make sure you guys coil it a really nice coil, massage it. Electrical tape, depending what the job. So there you go, that's how you do a nice little coil. Make sure you guys massage the coil and treat it really, really fair and nice. You still gotta learn how to pull cable, you still gotta learn how to uh, fish, you still gotta learn so many other things, but the main, main, main thing that the employer wants is that you know how to terminate jacks. And hopefully I open up your eyes because if you're trying to get in this career, it's just like, the money's right, I'm not gonna lie, but the bad thing is this coronavirus thing going on. So the reason I showed you guys today was because of uh, coronavirus stay home. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. It's all right, I'm here to teach you guys and learn and have fun. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys learned and liked it. So with that, this is Kid Jeff Jason. Now until next time, I can do no turn, but...